Hello and welcome to another video of the PG, uh, Zoom Tool PGN tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you what actions can be uh, done, applied to your existing PGN, so the one that you created already within our system. So uh, the first series of actions that can be taken are, uh, uh, you, you can reach them by again clicking the Add New button that is ever present on the top right of the header or the one on the left menu. Both of them will achieve the same. So uh, I already covered in the previous video how to create a new PGN. Now on your existing PGNs, what you can do, you can add additional SKUs. So let's say that you launch a PGN for uh, for one product that you offer only in black. Now you decided to launch a wide variation. What you will do, you will come to the Add SKU, you will click Add New, you will select what product you're launching a new variation on, let's say a silicon spatula, and what you will do, you will write here white spatula. But you will put the SKU of a new product that you want to add within the ecosystem of PGN. Once you click save new what the automation will do will find the pgn and will find all the campaigns auto broad phrase and exact and all the ad groups within those uh, campaigns and will add this queue to them please note that we can just ping amazon to take action so in case the SKU you're trying to add is out of stock uh has been retired by amazon because they're uh, investigating it or Sometime also when the product doesn't have a buy box, Amazon might choose to give us a, an error, so might choose not to add with SKU. So whenever you do this, please always double check what action was taken in Amazon, because again, it's not on us, we just send the action to Amazon. So it's up to Amazon and the characteristic and the status of the SKU you try to add for Amazon to say, yes, I will add it or not. Um, so that was the first ad skew. The second one is ad keyword. Uh, if you follow the previous video, you know that I always advise to start uh, with a PGN with five to 10 high volume, high relevancy keyword and let the PGN system grow organically from there. Uh, sometimes it works out well, some other time it doesn't. So um, if after a week or a few days you assess that the PGN is not getting enough traffic or the visibility you were expecting the PGN to get or clicks, what you will want to do, you will add uh, new keywords to the full PGN ecosystem. So that can be done here. You add new keywords, you select whatever PGN you want to add the keywords to, you will add the keywords here, keyword two, and so on and you will say this. What we will do, we will put all the keywords in the relevant matches, in the relevant uh, campaigns, and negate them where needed. Okay, making sure that you first, you don't have double keywords in, server, in the different same match ad groups, and you don't bid on the same customer search term across the three different containers, four different containers actually, that are out of a free, out of broad, um, exact and phrases of four containers sorry um, and the last one is the add negative keywords this is very um, delicate because the action we take for whatever keyword you gave us here we will add them as negative phrase to all four of the campaigns within the pgm that's very very important so this is a heavy action so you need to be sure of what you're doing um, how can this be leveraged? So let's say that I want to add some negative keywords and let's say I want to add them to the silicon spatula, all right? So looking at the product I have, I know for sure that uh, if I bid the word garlic press at the silicon spatula PGN, I'm not gonna get any conversions, right? Because I'm trying to sell a silicon spatula. So what I would do, I could do is like select the silicon spatula PGN and write press. Okay, so this garlic press word will be negating as a phrase 
within all the ecosystem of silicon spatula and this will stop a commingling of keywords okay so uh, again this is a very heavy um, action so make sure that you understand this action and make sure that you make your research and look at the data that we offer you can go deep as down dig deep as dig deep as down at a customer search term level and really make sure that whatever term you negate within a pgn you want them to be negated the way we do it uh, as for the switch uh, what we do and this is the same action for all of them if you leave the switch on what we will do we will push the data to amazon put the negative the positive skew where it needs to be put and then download the data back to the platform right away if you don't click the sync uh, maybe because you want to take action on more than a pgn one after the other and that's it so switch it off we will just simply push the data on amazon and you will be ready to work on a second pgn right away without having to wait for our system to download the data um okay so these are the actions that you can take from the add new button and then now let's go and check the action that you can take from the pgn um so the product group dashboard so the product group dashboard as i mentioned in the earlier video is a dashboard where we collect all the pgns you created in a single line and we merge all the statics in order to give you a, the full picture of how well the whole ecosystem is performing and on this page you can also take actions on the pgn so uh, for the sake of this um, uh, demonstration i will choose the silicon spatula and i will open in several tabs i will open the campaigns of the silicon spatula which is the blue icon i will open the ad groups of the silicon spatulas okay for this so the actions you can take are done by the gear button okay so you click this one and this pop up and you can go on the edit and this is what we're going to discuss now before discussing this let's go and see what are the current setting of this pgn so the current setting of this pgn is a daily budget of total of 100 dollars all right, so I'm at the campaign level for this specific PGN, so I'm listing all the campaigns within the PGN, and this is 100 bucks total daily budget for this PGN. As far as default bid goes, we set up initially, uh, when I created this test campaign or test PGN, I set up a default bid of $3, and the system staggered them down the way we do. So 100%, 75%, 50%, 25% on the out okay now if i want to bulk change this and let's say i wanna i wanna up my budget to 200 bucks and drop my default bid to one dollar across the whole pgn what it can be done by here so again you select the pgn you want to edit you go to the edit screen and you tell the system that you want to daily budget of $200 for this PGN, for this ecosystem, and your default bid, you want to go down, let's make it 150, all right? You want to drop the default bid down to 1.5 US dollar across your PGN. So once you save, you will get notified that this has been applied. So we will push, see, the first two is us pushing the data to Amazon and the second two is like our system telling you that we already downloaded it back and the data that we show you from now on is relevant and, and is live and 100% correct. Now, if I go here and remember now we had a, a budget at campaign level of 100 bucks. Now, if I refresh, you will see that the budget has been increased to 200 and it's been assigned like this, 40% here, 30% here, 20% here, 10% here. As for this, as I showed you in the previous video, okay? So the budget, this is how we started the budget. And as for your change from a bid, which initially was a $3 default bid, 
that was staggered down as I showed in my previous video. In this way, 100.75525. If I refresh now after the change, you see that now we are 150, 113, 75, 38. Okay, so 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%. Okay, so these are the two actions that you can take um, at, you go at the PGN level, you see product group, you click the action icon, edit, you go to the edit screen, and you can edit the total daily budget and the default bid here. Uh, as well as you can change names. So if you were to, to add silicon spatula and for instance, you want to, you're running a new process, you are new people and you want to uh, add the SKU to this specific uh, PGN within the names of everything that is inside the PGN in order for your team to understand what product is this SKU, you will just go here, you will save a record. So I just simply added the word SKU in the middle. And now what you, the action, uh, this is a confirmation that we have the top two, we pushed everything uh, to Amazon and the bottom two, we downloaded it back. So what you can see here, if I run a refresh on this page at the campaign level, you see earlier we had silicon spatula dash match and now we change everything to silicon skew spatula dashboard so we we edited everything the way you asked that as well as if you move one level down and you show all the ad groups within this pgn you see that before we had a silicon spatula naming and now if i refresh now there is a silicon skew spatula naming all right so basically we took your request of changing name and we push it down within the ecosystem so that everything that was before named one way within the ecosystem now is changed to your new naming with a click of a button without you going every single campaign every single ad group 